Bloodhound is one of the weirdest games I've played this year, and I'm not gonna lie. From the instant I clicked start game, my expectations were pretty low for this one. I mean, can someone please tell me who is holding this gun? Look, in all seriousness, I want to say up front that the amount of issues this game has is numerous, but none of them are major. I ended up playing Bloodhound way more than I thought I would initially, and it wasn't so that I could give it a legitimate review. I played it so much because I was actually having fun with the game. And if you take nothing else away from this, then you should at least take that. Bloodhound isn't shy about what it is. A 90s inspired FPS or boomer shooter as the kids are calling it, and it never strays too far away from that. From the start, it gets you straight into the action, and it really never stops. This is where both the fun and the issues start, and the first issue I want to talk about is the music. It's not good. It might sound odd starting with music, but old school FPS games really rely on the soundtrack to keep everything moving, and what they have here is fitting for the genre, but not really well executed. The shortest way to describe it is to say it sounds generic and poorly mixed, but that's actually not even the biggest issue I had with the music. The main issue was when the music played. When you're just moving around levels, you hear almost nothing music-wise, just a very small amount of ambient style, atmospheric tracks that don't really add to anything. But when you get into combat, that's when the metal music starts, instantly, without any buildup, and pretty much on the same part of the same track over and over again. And then, as soon as it started, it stops, just to repeat itself the next encounter. To make matters worse, the combat comes constantly from out of nowhere, and I mean literally out of nowhere. You know that old video game trope where you find a clearing and you know there's going to be a fight as soon as you walk out into it? Well, that's definitely not an issue with Bloodhound, because enemies will spawn right in the middle of a corridor with nowhere to move and nowhere to fight. And the spawn locations always happen the same exact way, directly in your face to where you can't see anything except this weird puff of smoke that accompanies the spawns. It's a little frustrating and was something I couldn't overlook. You'll be moving along and 10 feet from a door, boom, a roadblock of enemies right in your face. But okay, it, it's not all bad and I feel like I've started super negative so let me reel it in just a little bit here. The actual combat itself is pretty good. It's what made me have the most fun with the game. It's nothing exceptional but it's just well done. The gunplay feels just as good as some AAA games and the guns themselves, while not all being creative, do have a few standouts. For instance, almost every weapon in the game has a secondary ability, and while a few of them are kind of basic, like a melee with a shotgun or just pulling out a second assault rifle or revolver, some of them are just plain awesome. Notably, there's a crossbow that will detonate the arrows or a grappling hook on the sawed-off shotguns that will pull lighter enemies to you, which was probably taken from Roadkill's ability on Overwatch, but it's cool as hell regardless, so who cares? Both of those weapons are a ton of fun to use. There's also a lot of room for improvement also. For example, there is a chainsaw that doubles as a flamethrower, and that idea is kind of amazing, but in practice it falls a little short here. Most of the problems there are some of the animations. There isn't a good chainsaw kill animation, and the flamethrower looks pretty generic when it shoots out, but the idea is still there. Speaking of the animations, in general, they were a problem with this game. The aforementioned shotgun melee bash is one of the weirdest looking things I've ever seen. It kind of just pops out of nowhere and immediately goes back to just a normal handless shotgun. Also, the enemies seem to always do the same things when shot. You will encounter the same dropping to the knees for an execution animation over and over and over again. But like I said, these are all minor gripes. It just so happens to be a lot of them that add up. But really the last thing I want to talk about is the graphics, and I'll keep this short. They just don't do it for me. It's not a retro styled game, but it's also not a modern looking game either. Nothing looks awful per se, but it just doesn't have an identity and that keeps it from looking anything other than honestly just generic. Seriously though, what I said at the beginning was the most important, and that's that I had a ton of fun playing this game. All of the issues it has come down to what I assume was probably a lack of resources, because the bones of Bloodhound are they're there. It just lacks really any kind of polish at all. 
I think given some backing, this could have been a really great old school shooter. And if there's any updates or sequels, I wouldn't hesitate in the slightest to try them out. As always, I really appreciate you guys for watching the videos. Randy, Mason, and I always try to put out content you guys enjoy and cover the games that you want us to cover. If you like this video, then check out one of these other videos that we have done. I'm sure you will like those as well. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love the community we are building, and we couldn't do this without you guys. I've been Zach with Amateur Game Review, and I'm off to start playing another game. I'll see you in the next one.